Hello, thank you for joining me. I'm just standing by the busy but small Mary Lou station at Beckenscott Model Village. This is episode one of a series I'm going to do called Branch Line Britain, where we're going to explore some of the branch lines around Britain. Just occasionally we'll, you know, go to a branch line, we'll walk along it, um, along as close as we can to it, look at the stations and then get the train back, or that's the concept, it might vary in various episodes. So here we have a busy mainline station, it's called Mary Lou, but have a look here, it says Mary Lou change for the even load branch. So this is the Beckenscott model railway's main line, but as I said, the even load branch branches off here. Now the actual branch junction is in the signal box, or underneath the signal box in the tunnel, but the main line curves round and comes back along here. Now I have done various other videos all around Beckenscott where we explore the rest of Beckenscott. This one we're going to purely concentrate on the even load branch but what I was saying was the junction is under there. On this side there's also a, it's a, tri a triangular junction so just down there where two trains seem to be waiting at signals that's Gully Junction so behind the furthest one of the trains a line makes its way down there over the bridge and then here we have the other side of the triangle which comes out the signal box. So the line's that way, down there, that's the even load branch. And then for trains coming off the even load branch, they could go over this bridge and they could go under, under this little bridge here, which um, Radstock is now passing over with a passenger train on the main line. So soon we should see a passenger train on the branch line. So what I'm going to do now, let's walk along the branch line and have a look at its stations and... Um, See what a branch line has on offer. I mean, this branch line's probably got a bit of everything. Here you have it, could be somewhere maybe in the West Country. The railway's on a high viaduct above the docks and um, it passes the village of Southpool, which doesn't have its own station. But for the people who live in Southpool, the dockside village, this one here, if they want to catch a train, which they have passing basically over their heads, all they've got to do is cross the road here. To Hanton. Now we have the uh, very metropolitan looking station of Hanton. So this is the first intermediate station on the Evenlode branch. So Hanton is a fairly small village, but the residents, as I said, from Southfall, not Southfall, Southport visit there. Um, Southfall's in London, but also more recently Beckenscott Newtown has been built. So um, they have got their tube station. But they also may, if they want to travel further afield, they to walk to Hampton and get a train from here. So what I'm going to do now, after Hampton, the line becomes single track. We'll follow the single track line up towards um, splashing and even load. And then we're going to have one last look up there, back towards the junction with the main line. So as we walk around here, there we have Beckenscott Newtown, London's smallest tube station, Hampton Road. So sometimes when I'm doing these branch lines, they might be, most of them will be rural, but some will be urban. So we may find ourselves walking down streets like this of Nash semis as we walk from one station to another. Maybe sometimes, probably most of them will go for rural areas, past farms, just as the branch here does. It takes a very um, rural feel as it makes its way along towards even those passing the airfield. This is Hanton Airfield. So you could almost say that, um, so the airfield's called Hanton Airfield, but Hanton is right down there. The nearest station is actually Splashing. So people from Splashing would um, use Splashing Station to catch an aeroplane. Bear in mind we are in 1930s England, so things are a little bit different to today. Still the branch line train hasn't come, but what we do have here is the electric tramway. So it's like a branch line within a branch line. A tram runs from here along to the cafe at the other end of the beach. The tram's currently stopped. The branch line from here onwards goes over Alexandra Lake on that bridge, which is based on Sydney Harbour Bridge. So let's just go up here up to the viewpoint just to get a better view over the whole site.
could stand here all day and uh, enjoy the view over Beckham's Cop. So let's continue our walk around. I'm looking very silhouetted. Let's get into the light. Let's continue our walk around following the even over. I'm sure the tram's just come back. So, um, talking of, we've got the splashing electric tramway. The tram's just pulled into its um, into its station. Oh, and there goes a branch line train. So it's a branch line off a branch line, which there are cases where you do get branch lines off branch lines. It's also um, you get various other branch lines, so they could be in the form of an electric tramway. There goes the tram. But sometimes they could be a narrow gauge branch line. So branch lines come in all shapes and sizes. Um, there's a bit debatable as to what the longest branch line is. Some people say that Dingwall to Carl of Lockhouse at about 63 miles is a branch line because it's kind of off the far north line, which is true. It certainly does come off the far north line. It's a bit debatable whether I'd actually say it's a branch line or not. And um, as I said, but the idea of this branch line Britain series is that I walk the branch, get the train back. Well, I'm not going to be able to do 63 miles in a day. So, um, but we'll, we'll probably one day go to Carl of Lockhart and do a video day. It's a lovely part of the world. So the people on the train, they would get a really nice view looking across at the castle and um, the rather large fish, which to the people here are huge, they're like whales. So the little branch line, after passing over Alexandra Bridge, by now single track, goes through this tunnel here. It disappears under the hedge towards Evenload. So um, quite a long tunnel. Um, I'm trying to think of a branch line that has got a really long tunnel. Um, they certainly exist. I suppose another one, if you want to think of it as a branch line, is um, the railway which goes down to Blyneye for Steniog. That has the longest single track tunnel in Britain, about four miles long. This is even Lode Village Green, where that tunnel takes the railway underneath. But even Lode Station is over there. So what we're going to have to do, we're going to have to go for a quick walk around the whole of Beckenscott to get there. And passing many things on the way, such as the canal and the fairground. We'll also get a better look at Gully Junction. Um, so as I said, I have done a video where I've shown you everything in Beckenscott, various other videos, so do have a look at them. There's a whole Beck and Scott playlist, um, but today we are concentrating on the branch line. Oh, it's a shame that house, um, the corner of it's just collapsed, but the man is still sitting on the toilet. Um, he's obviously going to wait till he's finished before he gets up. But what this does give us the opportunity to do here is the Gully Junction, so the other side of Gully Junction. So if you look here, that's Gully Junction signal box, and there's a train, I can hear a train coming. Here comes a two-wheel unit. Now, is a two-wheel unit going to take the branch? Uh, looking at the points, I'd say yes. So the two-wheel unit has taken the branch. So you can see the branch line goes off down there. Here we have Brighton waiting at the signal to proceed on the main line. So then when trains coming off the branch, as I said earlier, they come under that bridge through here. So I'm now going to follow the main line up here. Um, as I said, we are making our way to Evenload, but I'm following the path all the way round um, rather than just take a shortcut. So this is Beckenscott Town, the capital of Beckenscott. It has two stations. And well, there's another train. DK Chesterton's in the station. And Settle, a 94XX Pannier, is just pulling in. So. Whether Settle will eventually end up down the branch line, we'll, we shall probably soon find out. I'm now following the main line beside Green Haley Bank, quite a steep section on the line. It takes the line up past the windmill to Green Haley. That's one of my favourite spots for watching trains. This goes a good train. That's another interesting thing. Um, Branch lines and goods trains. In today's, in today's world, you don't get that many goods trains on branch lines, but it certainly is something that exists. There are branch lines that do have goods trains because some branch lines don't actually aren't dead ends as such. That they may carry on as a freight only line, or some branch lines have the complete feel of a branch line, but they actually run between two, um, you know, two other lines. So I've got a few in mind like that where we will see where we will certainly see good trains. There's the cable cars there so um 
if, if I was walking this and I was, you know, six inches tall, I probably wouldn't have walked all around Beckenscott. I'd have just simply got on the cable car and come up here because that way would have been quicker and more fun. But, you know, I'm a bit, bit big to fit in the cable car, so I have to walk. But it also meant to have a gully junction and various other things. So, that tunnel I showed you, remember it was single track. To confuse you, this is the other end and it's double track. So, it actually becomes double track inside the inside the tunnel. Now, it's a rather unusual terminus here even though, because if you look in front of me, there's effectively another junction. You have a line going this way beneath the miners cottages. We'll get onto the mine in a moment. But we also have a line going this way, which takes the cutting round there. So if we follow that one, it goes around, around here, past the Roman ruin, look at that. That is a miniature Henry's Adventures. Henry, miniature Henry watching trains. And it turns into even those where there's a colliery. Oh, there's a train. So the branch line train arrives at its terminus. But as I said, this one's a bit unusual because it actually does a loop. Um, Probably in most branch line cases, if on a steamwork branch line, a local would run round its train and work the train bunker first. Some branch lines would have had turntables, and but on the whole, being rural lines, they wouldn't have done. But you, talking of freight only lines, well, there were some, there's some coal wagons down there, and there's a line that goes off, off into a tunnel just down there. So that's like a colliery branch. There goes the branch line train back towards Mary Lou, Brighton. Sorry, not Brighton, that's Burton, the locomotive. Brighton we saw over at Gully Junction, didn't we? Into the tunnel, Bruton goes. So, that pretty much concludes our first episode of Branch Line Britain. So when I come to do this on the full-size lines, what I'm probably going to do is walk the line a bit like I have today. When I say walk the line, I, I don't mean that literally. I mean walk near the line, seeing, you know, visiting the stations on the way and the other interesting sites. And then if I was six inches tall at this point, I'd stand on the platform, wait for the train, take the train back. So when we're doing full-size lines, that's how I intend to do it. There will be some variations because some branches might just work better for me to do it the other way around, but we'll have to wait and see. So from episode one of... Branch Line Britain, thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. Do come and visit Beckenscott because it's a great place. And from Evenloads and its colliery, goodbye.